All right, welcome back to Comic Shop Talk. How's everybody doing? Got my uh, Red King hat on. Go check them out. It's a pretty cool comic, kind of a multimedia company. They're not distributed by anybody, so you have to go directly to them. So just look up Red King. It's not paid. I saw them at Comic-Con. I thought it was very cool, so I figured I'd give them a shout out. What we're gonna talk about today is community. So if you didn't know it or not, you're joining a community-based business. The people who come to comic shops uh, are very passionate about comics. Whether they're an investor or they love the art form, they're here to talk about comics. So building your community is an important part of the business. That goes for your magic community, your Pokemon community. If you're fair with them, um, if everybody gets the same price, if everybody gets the, I mean, you can allow for discounts for veterans or different things like that. But I'm talking about when you're buying stuff from people, everybody gets a certain percentage. If you're, if you're selling to people, everybody pays a certain percentage. It, that way you become trustworthy and that helps to build a community. Nobody feels that anybody is getting special treatment and so forth. Just a quick story. We had somebody move into right in like a block away from me that wanted to also do magic. They poached one of the guys who was a regular player of ours to go over there and uh, work and help them. I didn't even know they were opening up until they opened. And um, uh, luckily because I, had stuck to the community based and had treated everybody very well. All my customers were very loyal to me. Now I said, listen, if I don't have a card and they have a card that you need, you know, go, you know, go buy it over there. Um, if you feel more comfortable playing over there, that's a part of being trustworthy too. You can't, you can't hold on to things. You know, it's just like regular life. You just can't hold tightly onto things. They, uh, you, you have to just be yourself. Uh, be as, be honest and trustworthy and have integrity and it'll pay off and people will make sure to even if they go and try something um, it won't be authentic you know and and we have lost people to that have used to drive an hour to come to our shop a new shop opens closer to them it's more convenient um, you know if their needs are getting met there I have no hard feelings to that um, you have to understand that, like especially in this economy, people aren't going to drive an hour to, you know, to play cards for a couple of hours. You know, some still do. I, I mean, I still have people, but there's no store between me and this other place that they come from. But people do drive quite close to an hour to come play for uh, on certain nights and for our pre-releases. And you know, I'm very appreciative of that. And that's important. You have to foster that kind of community. And the same in comics, and I have people that drive three hours. They don't come every week, of course, but uh, you know, once a quarter, they, they make a pilgrimage because they wanna come talk to me about comics. They wanna come look at what I've gotten. I save stuff for them because I know what they, they like and what they want. Uh, so I'll put stuff away, and then when, when they show up, you know, I'll pull out a short box, and a, this is all the stuff I know you like. And they're excited about that. It's just what I remember about the old school comic book stores that I used to go to. So the community that you build in your store is only one community. You have to build a community of also of where you're at. Like we're in a very small city, so it's very, very important for us, even for people who aren't our customers, to hear them out about behind our store. Is it clean? Do we keep kids from hanging out uh, and doing any mischief? And, and we have like a little uh, alleyway between us and another shop. Do people hang out front and smoke in front of the store in a big group? And we don't, we don't allow that kind of stuff. Single person can go out and smoke. Uh, we don't uh, really allow them to do it in, in large groups. And that's basically a, like a kind of a quality of life. You don't want the people in your community complaining about your store. Um, not all news is, is, is good for your business. You know, uh, maybe for uh, movie stars, there's no such thing as bad press, but definitely um, if you've seen some Google reviews and Yelp reviews for your store, some of that press is very can be very bad and be detrimental to your store. You also should be watching your, your Google uh, Maps 
ratings and reviews. And uh, if there's any on there that you think aren't real or um, aren't don't have any value, you can ask for them to be removed. You can also uh, rebuttal them right right below. And always be professional. Try try not to get angry when you're when you're writing. Write one that's really scathing and angry, and then delete that one. And then once that's out of your system, then then write a real professional one as a rebuttal. Uh, but you do should should keep track of all of those reviews and what people are saying. Um, and you know there may be stuff that you're doing that you didn't realize was irking people or bothering people. So again, it's listening to your community. And then there's the internet community. So, you know, you're gonna be on Instagram, you're gonna be on Facebook. Uh, there is there is one paid group for uh, comic retailers called Comics Pro. A buddy of mine was president for years. He always asked me to join and I never joined because I didn't really see the value in it. Even though he's a good friend of mine, he owns Main Street Comics in Middletown. He's not too far from me. We're kind of in a little bit of competition, but not really, we have very different stores. He carries a lot of news. He carries everything that comes out and he's got multiple, multiple issues above his subscriptions. I don't. Uh, I carry way more indie stuff, but he does carry everything. He carries all the indies. Um, I just, I have a bigger selection of back issue that, that he does. He uh, mostly does new, but he's a part of the, the local community, right? So when he was president, he had asked me to join a couple of times and I went through their website, but it sounds, it seems like now more they want it they are now that there's been a big shift in the comic book community and uh, publishing and, and the rest that they're becoming a lot more involved with the publishers. They want to get the sales data correct. So they're working on a whole project. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but they are working on building a project where we would have some kind of way of tracking what we purchase new and what we sell new. So that all the publishers could track the sales and see what actually is the public is buying. Because there's the sales that we make, right? As retailers, we buy from the publishers, but that doesn't mean we get all those books in the hands of actual comic book readers. And I can tell you about as, as a guy that goes to, you know, conventions and buys 10 long boxes or more uh, from other dealers that this stuff is not selling at cover price or even close. So that the numbers that they're showing are, aren't real. And that's another thing you can learn from your community. Like even though other comic book retailers are, can, you know, are your competition, they really aren't. You know, you're, you're providing your retail store for your locality, you know, the people that live in your area and the slight surrounding area. If a guy opens up down the block, yeah, then you're in direct competition. But even then he might be doing something different. But you all need to stick together because we have to be stewards of this business. It, it is a hobby uh, that if people don't cultivate it, it will die just like a garden. So get involved with your community, be thinking about it, on the internet, where before I got off on the tangent, I was talking about the internet. Comics Pro is on there, you can join there. It's about $300 now, it used to be 200, but every once in a while they run a deal so you can keep an eye out for that. They're the ones that do, if you were buying any comics through Diamond, um, I think you can get some of them through, through Lunar 2, is the local comic shop day. That's all curated by the Comics Pro. There's also a, a bunch of Facebook groups. Emmett's old and his memory's really, really bad. I don't remember most of the names of them. There is the Comic Coalition. Mike Zap Zapsis from The Secret Stash is kind of the, the main moderator of that. You can apply to be a member of that. And it's just a bunch of comic book dealers talking about stuff. You can ask questions. You can get a lot of great information from them. It's a, that's a good place. There's also one that you have to get invited to, which is a is a really good one if you're starting out. It's not only if you're starting out, it's always a good one. It is retailer to retailer sales, but it's called, I think, comics and game store retailer to retailer sales. You have to prove that you're, you own a, comic, a brick and mortar comic shop. And it basically is, hey, I overbought this stuff. It's not moving. I don't have, a, I don't have customers for this. I'm selling it at cost. 
And a lot of this stuff is stuff you can't get from the distributor anymore because it's like, you know, maybe five, six, or maybe even two years old. And you'd love to have it because you sold out of it and couldn't get any more from the distributor. Now, of course, it's not the stuff we're all selling, like Lurkana or stuff like that. But I've seen a lot of older Pokemon. You know, some of these card games are West Coast. There's a lot of strong, like a lot of the Japanese card games do much better on the West Coast than they do on the East Coast. I, I, I don't know why. At least, at least in my area, there's not really a huge Yu-Gi-Oh community. There's a small one, but not a huge one. Um, there's definitely not a big Vanguard community. There. As far as I know, there is no force of will community anymore. There's very little flesh and blood community. So like these are things that if in your area in the Midwest, you can't get flesh and blood and your distributors all out of it. There's a lot of guys that bought this stuff and are now holding it and they would love to sell it to you. So that is a really great resource. If you want to, if you're, if you're a brick and mortar, and you want to get on that site, send me a message. If you liked and subscribed, to the tales of the flip side, I'll hook you up. <laughs> we gotta get something out of it. We gotta get something out of it. But let me tell you, you know, and pass the word around to uh, other retailers that you're talking to that there is a really good Facebook group out there. You might be able to just to send a message and try to apply, but if you need to find it and you can't, you can't find it, hit me up, I'll help you out. There's a few more of those on there that I can hook you up with too. I'll have a whole list on Haven for Heroes site because I have control of that. I really don't do the description for the, for the uh, items uh, for the Tales from the Flip side. So if you, if you find your way over to Haven for Heroes, we'll have like a mini version of this, which is, will just be like a five minute uh, with all the URLs for uh, all the different organizations. Now, from the professional organizations to some of the organizations, I mentioned this when I was doing sales, I wanna reiterate it again. Go out and, not out, but into the internet. Go to Facebook and look for the groups like Moms of wherever your area is. Um, there's a lot of people that have started these uh, groups on Facebook for moms. I think there's some for grandmoms, you know, and they have like, oh, here's, there's li these little events going on here and there and everywhere. And you can, a lot of times you can post your sales on there. You can also see grandmothers and mothers will be asking questions about, oh, my kid's really into this. Does anybody know where I can get some? And hey, you, if you're selling Pokemon, they're into Pokemon. You can say, hey, at our shop, here, we, this is what we have. Does anybody teach the game? We teach. You know, uh, my shop teaches. You should think about getting somebody that will teach these games. Really helps your sales. Again, getting involved with the community. But these are a lot of the places you can outreach. I mean, I'm never on Facebook anymore. I mean, except for birthdays and, uh, you know, uh, saying happy birthday to people I haven't seen in 30 years or thanking people who haven't seen me in 30 years for uh, my birthday. I'm never on Facebook except for my business and I need to spend more time. Business has slowed down in the local area, so we have to move online. You can't have just have one. You can't just do Facebook. Uh, I mean, you just can't do eBay. You have to have other ways of selling your items. We have TCG Player, which is great which we've been very successful with over the last five years. I'm looking for a place to sell comics and I have a lot of other stuff. Now that I have, I have some very, very solid clean out guys that are bringing me all kinds of stuff now. Um, I got I just got a crazy set of albums in, uh, Iron Maiden albums that sold in a day on eBay. So I probably sold them too cheap, but yeah, so reaching out to your community, staying involved in your community. Don't be a comic book snob. Everybody has their own tastes. You know, I'm sure you have a favorite ice, ice cream flavor and your spouse probably is a different one. And your kids are probably different flavors. Or usually they, if you have more than one kid, one, one likes what you like and the other one likes what your, 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 your spouse likes. So don't worry about it. They'll buy what they like. Uh, you should read as much as possible if you're gonna carry new books. You should be reading as many of the comics as you, you can because you'd be surprised at what some books look like on the front and what they are on the inside. There was one book that came out this week. Uh, my community is very into horror books and actually came out, sorry, last week. 
probably two weeks ago when you watched this. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, it looked like a kid's book. It was beneath the trees and it's about a, a killer uh, stuffed uh, bear. So a teddy bear that's a murderer. So there's all blood and guts on the inside and the outside looks like kids should be reading it. So you really should know what you're getting in and what you're, what's good and like once, I didn't even catch it. One of my one of my customers who loves horror, he had heard it on, on a podcast and it came out and got it and then told me about it. I'm still trying to read everything and I can't even do it, but I suggest you do. Another thing is to uh, look for uh, public libraries, the public library closest to you. You should try to get involved with them. A lot of them are trying to run comic book conventions. They're trying to bring younger people into the comic shop. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, into the library and you can get involved with them. Before COVID, we held a very successful event. Just under a thousand people attended. They came through the library. The librarians were able to go through all the different areas and talk to them about it. They were able to meet cosplayers and comic book people, uh, writers and artists. They also were able to see what the library had that they didn't weren't aware in trade paperbacks and comic books. We give free comic books whenever the library asks, whatever I have left over. I donate to the library. They have a reading program every summer and everybody who um, meets their goal, we give, let them have pick a free comic. They just have to stop by the comic shop and they get a free comic. Not a free comic book day comic, any comic in the shop for free. Not off the wall, let's not get crazy. But any new comic book, uh, age appropriate, they're able to take home uh, and read for free. Um, and we eat that cost, but it, I mean, it's goodwill in the community and that's a good thing to have is goodwill. Uh, there's also community events uh, that they have like we have very uh, quite a few f street fairs and I've talked about them like the big sales that we have when we have the street fairs. It usually is good for at least a week's worth of uh, money and sometimes a month. Um, be aware that they're happening, somehow get involved. If it's not down the street that you're on, try to get a booth. We have a very small paper that comes out. We advertise in that every, uh, it comes out like quarterly and we advertise in that religiously. It is kind of the only paper locally that they read and it's all it is is ads. It's just ads, there's no, no news in it, but uh, the local community eats it up. And uh, if they don't have one, maybe you should get one um, or maybe you should start doing one and, and produce it. The school, when they do a play, we uh, donate to them to put an ad in their, in their flyer, in their book. So we get involved in all the different community activities that's happening locally that we can afford to do. Uh, there, there's a local horse farm that uh, does rehabilitation for uh, veterans and um, other people with uh, post-traumatic stress, which is a wonderful thing. They get to go out and ride horses and, and groom horses and take care of them. We do the event with them every year. Their, cus their customers, the people that like come out and do their events aren't, aren't, aren't really our customers. But you know what? They might have something for me to buy. You gotta remember that too. You wanna be involved in the whole community, even if they're not into comics, even if they're not into video games or toys they may have their toys from when they were a kid, or they may have a relative that is uh, looking to get rid of their stuff, and you'll be the spot they bring it to. So always remember, not only is it the sales, but it's also the purchasing, especially if you're, you're gonna be in the vintage uh, comic uh, toy video game business. You have to get those people to bring you their stuff. And on that note, keep reading comics, and open a comic shop. Thank you.